tonight an autopsy will determine whether an Amazon delivery driver was mauled to death by dogs at a home near Excelsior Springs. His death is alarming to other delivery drivers. I was really surprised to see that um, and, and a little bit a little bit unnerved and I've had easily 100 interactions with dogs and I've been fortunate to not have anything like that happen. I have it's a story that's unnerving to the entire surrounding community, including a coworker of the man killed who we talked to tonight. We go in depth to find out what training drivers receive and what they must do daily to stay safe. KSHB 41's Megan Abundas talked with that coworker, as well as another driver who delivers Amazon packages to learn more. The driver was hired out of this Blue Springs Amazon Delivery Center. He was a delivery service partner. Employees tell us he worked here for a year and a half, was a father and well loved. We know they had a very emotional prayer circle today. Usually they get out of the hub at 920. Today it was 1030. They had counselors on site too. Even though you see those logos on the sides of delivery vans, Amazon itself doesn't employ any drivers. They outsource the jobs to local third party contractors. They're considered DSPs or delivery service partners. Josh Roche Kolb is a flex driver. He's his own boss. Before I start every route, I text my wife a screenshot of the area that I'm going to be delivering in. In two years, he's delivered more than 7,000 Amazon packages. Love doing it. It's, it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money. But says today's been surprising and unnerving. It's a reminder that no matter how much we prepare uh, as drivers and no matter how how well we think we know the body language of animals, um, something crazy can always happen. He says they're trained on what to do when they see a dog and they have a couple of delivery options, including calling dispatch or calling or texting the customer. Say, hey, there's a dog on your property. What do you want me to do? How do you want me to handle it? And if you, for whatever reason you're not able to get a hold of the customer or you're not able to get in contact with the dispatcher, you have the ability to mark that package as undeliverable and just take it back to the station. It's rough for the customer, but at the same time, the safety of the driver has got to come first. And what about when it comes to the rights on the property? It's understood that we have with the order, the expectations we are invited on property. Alan Roster and a UMKC professor agrees. He says there's an implied social custom that we can enter people's property for that purpose to knock or to drop something off. He says if there are no trespassing signs that would negate the implied consent and could argue the person wasn't lawfully there, but says since a package was ordered, he says more than likely the dog owner is responsible. The only thing that's going to change for me is I'm going to be just a little bit more aware uh, when I'm coming up to a property. We reached out to the Ray County Sheriff's Office. They say they'll release the driver's identity tomorrow. In Blue Springs, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.